Hello, this is Corbin, the Awkward Game Master, and welcome to Beyond D&D. Today we'll be discussing Promethean the Created. Please feel free to use the timestamps below if you want to skip around a little. Today's sponsor is Matthew from Warlock's Sanctum Games. He's a professional game master, and you can find a link in the description to his Start Playing account if you'd like to hire him. Promethean the Created is a standalone RPG in the Chronicles of Darkness setting which centers around artificially created life forms known as Prometheans as they try to ascend to personhood. Please note, I won't be showing any disturbing images in this video, but this game does delve into body horror more than other Chronicles of Darkness games. Just to clarify, I will only be covering Promethean 2nd Edition in this video. Prometheans don't have a singular origin. The one defining trait they have is that they are artificially created beings that have a divine fire instead of a soul. As such, they are never born, they are always created, hence the name Promethean the Created. Divine Fire also conveys some information to the Promethean about their society and the alchemy that runs through their veins. This is why Prometheans have a shared vocabulary and general knowledge of alchemy. Because of this divine fire, known as Azoth, they give off an aura of disquiet which causes non-Prometheans discomfort. Depending on the type of Promethean you are, this can range from making someone mad with rage at you, or making them so obsessed they want to dissect you. And if that wasn't bad enough, Prometheans can also lose control of their emotions in a process called torment. And this is different depending on which type of Promethean you are. Usually disquiet or torment causes a Promethean to become separated from their creator. When a Promethean sleeps for the first time, they will dream about becoming human, and this will put them on the path of the pilgrimage. Additionally, every Promethean is weak to fire and can come back to life at least once. Some Prometheans can come back multiple times, but those are special cases. Prometheans form groups known as throngs. Being part of a throng can help mitigate disquiet and torment if the group is diverse enough. Having two or more Prometheans of the same type can actually cause disquiet and torment to happen more easily. Because disquiet causes non-Prometheans to eventually go insane, other Prometheans are really the only companions you can have. Because of their Azothic memory, Prometheans know the pilgrimage can be successful, and they also gain knowledge of a shared written language known as pilgrim markings. This can be used to send simple messages or warnings to other Prometheans. Prometheans tend to not stay in one place for too long, as their existence can accidentally create a wasteland. Wastelands are blighted areas that infect humans with disquiet and create odd weather patterns. Occasionally, such areas will cause great disasters like earthquakes and floods, called firestorms. This means that Prometheans tend to be on the move quite a lot. Prometheans have a lineage which is your link to the alchemic process that created you. Refinement acts as a philosophical viewpoint and guidepost to your pilgrimage. Elphis is what drives your character to complete the pilgrimage. Torment is what keeps your character from getting close to humanity, and you must overcome it to complete your pilgrimage. A bestowment is an ability inherited from your lineage. Bestowments usually range from getting exceptional successes on three successes instead of five, being able to commune with the dead, replacing damaged limbs, being able to come back from the dead more than once, and many others. Azoth is the Promethean's artificial soul made of divine fire. Mechanically, it acts as your character's power level. Transmutations are alchemic magic that allow you to transform your body. Pilgrimage represents how far away a Promethean is from becoming human. Unlike other games, this can only be increased with vitriol experience, which is given when a Promethean reaches a milestone in their pilgrimage. Prometheans come in many different forms. The only thing they share is the divine fire that animates them. Frankensteins, or wretched, are your classic Frankenstein monsters. Usually they are stitched together from multiple corpses. Their disquiet usually causes people to blame them for everything going wrong. Muses, or galatides, are based on the myth of Pygmalion, where a sculptor asks Aphrodite to bring his statue to life. They are usually made with the purpose of being perfect, whether that is perfectly beautiful or a perfect representation of something. Their disquiet usually causes people to become obsessed stalkers. Nephri, or Osiris, are based on the myth of Osiris, where Set dismembered him and Isis put him back together except for his genitals. 
As such, nephri usually are made from one corpse, but are missing at least one body part. Their disquiet usually causes people to become obsessed with curiosity about them, sometimes resulting in the person trying to dissect them. Named to me are based on golem from Jewish folklore. Named have words carved into their bodies. Their disquiet usually causes everything they say to come across in the worst way, usually resulting in those affected seeking justice on the named. Riven are created when a corpse is covered in ectoplasm and thrown into twilight to be dismembered by spirits. Then the body is retrieved and reformed into a Promethean. Their disquiet usually causes those affected to be paranoid of them until they believe the Riven to be a monster. Manufactured or unfleshed are typically created from inorganic material instead of corpses. These Prometheans are based on cold and unfeeling automatons. Their disquiet usually causes those affected to perceive them as machines instead of people. Sometimes this results in the affected turning off the manufactured. Matchless or extempore are a catch-all term for Prometheans that don't fall neatly into the previous category. Usually, they don't have a creator. I like to describe this lineage as a custom lineage for players who want to make their own Promethean from the ground up. Lineages are very flexible, and if you want to have a muse that's made of inorganic material like a manufactured, you can. The rubric supports players choosing their lineage based on the purpose that the Promethean was created for, not just because of its components. Refinement is essentially the route Prometheans followed to complete their pilgrimage. Each refinement has three roles which a Promethean must take on in order to understand humanity. I am not going to go into every refinement as we'd be here all day. But a couple of examples are Arum, which is the refinement of gold, and it involves the Promethean understanding humanity through mimicking it. Whereas Aeus is the refinement of bronze, and involves the Promethean understanding humanity by helping others. Note that refinements grant a special refinement condition and an extra way to gain beats by acting in accordance with your refinement. You gain vitriol when you complete roles and milestones. So if you don't switch your role or refinement, you're not going to be able to advance towards the pilgrimage. There are so many transmutations. The general idea is that the alchemic properties of a Promethean grants them access to these special supernatural abilities. These abilities are used by expending pyros, which is the alchemic energy of your divine fire. Each transmutation type has four subtypes called alembic. When you take on a refinement, you get to select one of these subtypes from that transmutation, and each roll you complete for that refinement grants you another subtype from the same transmutation type. Each Alembic grants a persistent condition to your character as well. If you want to keep transmutations when you change roles, you'll have to use your vitriol experience to make it permanent instead of using it to progress the pilgrimage. One transmutation of particular note is disquietism, which allows you to ma manipulate disquiet. One alembic allows you to move your disquiet onto an enemy. Another one can lower the disquiet level of a target. There is a lot that transmutations can do. Help you hide, transform you temporarily into a human, manipulate technology, and even shapeshift parts of your body into weapons. There are many possible antagonists for Promethean. Pandorans are failed Prometheans that are almost feral and eat Prometheans pyros. If they don't feed, eventually they will turn into inanimate objects such as statues or rubble until it senses pyros nearby. There are two subtypes of Pandorans, ones that feed on other Pandorans called precipitati and ones that eat vitriol to become sentient called Siplomatis. Sentimanus are Prometheans who gave up the pilgrimage. In doing so, they can control Pandorans. Stereotypically, they try to show Prometheans how they can never truly become human and should embrace the monster that they truly are. Alchemists are humans who are interested in studying alchemy but can never get it to work like Prometheans can. Alchemists seem like great starting villains as they use alchemy to grant themselves weirder and weirder abilities and mutations. As a storyteller, you should really focus on the player characters more than any other game. Their pilgrimage is at the forefront, and you need to make sure not to alienate other players by focusing too much time on one player. 
Fulfilling roles from a refinement is how Prometheans get closer towards their goal. Whether the player chooses to understand their role through investigating the supernatural or working at the grocery store is up to them. Promethean's disquiet and torment acts as a catalyst for character growth. Don't ignore that mechanic, as it is key to the Promethean experience of isolation and trying to fit in with humanity. If I were to run Promethean, I think I would start with the group already assembled and try and come up with a way for the player characters to have met each other in roleplay, because you don't really want to end up with a player who is just wanting to avoid every city and staying away from everyone because they're afraid of causing disquiet. They need to understand humanity. They can't be avoiding it. Every player has the same goal of becoming human. They are fellow travelers on the pilgrimage and should be supportive of each other getting closer to humanity, even if they might be a little jealous. Because Prometheans tend to travel around to avoid creating wastelands, I probably map out a rather large area for my players to know that they can travel through, as well as making sure that a lot of the plot elements are not location specific. I probably throw in a couple of alchemist groups as well that are neutral to the party just so that they have someone who they can interact with early on for information, maybe even have a couple be antagonists as well. The rulebook states that Prometheans are quite rare, so I might throw in a few hermit type Prometheans who have cut themselves off from humanity, but maybe I'll even throw in something like a famous actor who's a Promethean that is known to be terrible to work with but is constantly on the move from shoot to shoot in order to avoid creating the wasteland. My actual player recommendation for this episode is Poly Abhorrent by The Gamer's Table Podcast. Please check out the link below if you're interested. How would you run a Promethean game, or what type of character would you play? Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe as it really will help the channel grow. I've created a Ko-fi account if you'd like to throw a couple bucks my way. I've put a link in the description below if you want to add to the digital tip jar. I'd like to also thank the Promethean crew on the Codex of Darkness Discord channel, Corin02, Strohim, and Milo V3. If you'd like to join us over there, I've put the link in the description as well. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you get a better understanding of Promethean the Created. Thank you so much and have a good one.